It's the Memphis Sports Network. WMC Memphis, WMFS HD2 Bartlett Memphis. WMFS FM and HD1 Bartlett. WMFS Memphis. ESPN 790 AM and 92.9 FM ESPN. The views and opinions of the hosts or guests of the following program do not necessarily reflect those of the management or staff of Intercom Memphis. Watch the sun rise, new days going, and it's calling you and me. Where the mighty Mississippi flows by Memphis, Tennessee. We've got woodlands, fields, and water. Hey, there is no better way. You can find. Saturday morning and welcome to another edition of the award-winning Outdoors with Larry Ray on ESPN 790 AM. Brought to you proudly by Tennessee Wildlife Resource Agency, Barton Power Sports, Sportsman's Warehouse, and Best Care Home Services. Now, here's your host, Larry Ray. Hey, good Saturday morning. Welcome to Outdoors with Larry Ray on ESPN 790, and this is Larry Ray sitting in as I do every Saturday morning on this uh, December the 9th, and if my voice sounds deep, it is deep. It's been a busy week uh, in the Ray household. I know all of you folks out there, are, It's Christmas is busy, really busy, and so uh, we're going to talk today. Um, hopefully, Bill Cooksey will get in here, and Ron Wong, I am solo with the one and only Greg Ratliff, who is really here today. And, yes, uh, yes, I'm here. He's very conservatively dressed today. He doesn't have any. <laughs> I don't even know what that says on him. You know, uh, KCC. Uh, is it KOC or K? Is that KFC? <laughs> I can't tell. What is it? We're already talking about food. Not even. Uh, no, 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 no. We're talking about food right now. Greg is. Uh, well, of course, he deals with food. He is a food man. If you come out to whole. Whole Foods, where is it? Uh, the, the one in Germantown. The one in Germantown. You can find him back there in the produce, right? Yes, sir. Okay, and you can't you can't miss him. He's got a beard, and he, he's uh, wears glasses. Look for him out there. But uh, Wong and uh, Cooksey are not in here yet, so I'm kind of doing around the horn by myself. A uh, uh, busy week. Uh, this week, today's show, uh, we're going to talk to the folks at uh, at Strike King and Lose talk about their recent purchase and uh it's going to be a real fun to talk to uh, gary remensnyder of lose and alan ransom of strike king about the de- the details uh of their uh companies being bought and what are the transitions and things like that and then we're going to talk to ernie lentz uh get a report from the arkabut a physically challenged deer hunt that's going on uh this weekend it started on thursday and um uh, Check in with Ernie. That is a wonderful event, folks. Uh, if you have time today or tomorrow, just drive down to Arkabuck Lake. Uh, go to the uh, dam side area over there, and you can you can smell the f- smoke from the fire that these guys are burning, I know, because it's been a cool turn down. I don't know about y'all, but it's affected me greatly. But uh, Ernie's going to tell us how many uh, folks are here for this uh, hunt that uh, – Tracks people from all over the United States, uh, primarily in our area, physically challenged, all sorts of injuries and uh, from uh, maybe um, accidents or what might be a, a veteran, something along that line. So we're going to talk to Ernie, get an update, and we'll probably talk to Ernie again next week to get uh, the finals. And, you know, a lot of folks have talked about Blue Bank Resort, and I talk about it because that's where I go when I stay at Real Foot Lake. And I started thinking uh, – you know, that we're coming up January the 1st, 1925. Wow. Blue Bank Resort opened, and uh, it's still going. It, it is, uh, and Mike Hayes is uh, appealing to a different audience. Uh, not, of course, you're going to go up there and you're going to catch fish. 
you have a chance to waterfowl hunt and all the different things, Eagle Watch. But Mike's reaching out to maybe the people that uh, don't do any of those things uh, at his resort. And so we're going to talk to Mike, the history about uh, Blue Bank Resort. And then, of course, uh, we're going to talk about Buff. Now, that's uh, Casey Rolig. He's a sports marketing specialist for Buff USA. And it's, uh, it's a very unique product in that uh, it's, it's, well, I don't know how to describe buff, but uh, I've used it. They have given me some, and I've worn them. It's comfortable. It's colorful. It's got it in camo. But we're going to talk to Casey Rowling about that. But uh, About buff? Buff. Buff is good stuff. Buff is good stuff. Yep. And you realize that was not uh, Greg's voice. Bill Cooksey has arrived. We are st- we're waiting on the arrival of the – he can't find a parking place. That's probably him because <laughs> he only wants to back in. Uh, Bill, good to see you, buddy. Good morning. Apologize <laughs> for being late, No, everybody. no, no. Better late than never. I, have, I do not have my phone with me. And so that's uh, – you probably sent me a text or I, I something. Did. Well, it's – it's it's out there someplace. <laughs> I just, I'm sure it's at home someplace. I hope right. it is and everything. But uh, a lot of good stuff on today's show. But I wanted to talk to when Ron gets here, and he'll come wheeling in here pretty soon. But Bill uh, uh, really enjoyed talking to Aaron Brown. Good. And, and going to get Aaron back on to talk a little duck hunting down in that wonderful area. But uh, she really explained a lot uh, about Vanishing Paradise and talked about, and Bill, of course, is the vanishing uh, paradise person for us in this area. Mm-hmm. Your your area is what? I have everything from the Florida Keys to the Mexican border. Florida Keys to the Mexican right. border. Right. Uh, that's 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 quite a. It, it's a pretty good stretch. It's a good, real good stretch. <laughs> Stretches you out and everything like that. But thank, but, thank goodness we have Aaron down in Louisiana because that's such a major hot spot, and she can focus solely on that and frees me up to do some other things as well, well. She, she did a great job uh and he has arrived not only bearing arrived yes. he's bearing gifts as part of our big lr outdoors contest coming up here the 12 winners raise winners i think is what we're calling it and ron wong has stepped into the building uh good morning ron good morning everybody Sorry, I'm a little bit late this morning and have lots to do. He and, has lots to do, and uh, know, right off the just, bat, uh, we, we want to uh, offer our condolences uh, to Ron and his family and mm-hmm. the recent loss of his brother. The funeral was Thursday, and uh, Ron, I know that uh, you and Bob were real close. Yes, we were, and uh, very, very unfortunate uh, uh, yeah. uh, incident, if you will, Um you know, I just uh, uh, I pray that uh, that justice is served. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. do too. Uh, for what happened to Bob on Thanksgiving Day, and uh, anyway, uh, I know Ron has received a lot of support because Ron knows a lot of people. Mm-hmm. And, yes, uh, I do, and and I want to thank everybody yeah. for that. It's it's always it, that's always helpful. You know, no matter what people may say. Yeah. Um, but the support of friends. Yes, family yeah. and everything um, uh, really helps out. You know, and, and I think uh, what uh, the Facebook can be good and bad, but I think Facebook uh, uh, allowed a lot of people to reach out to Ron. Sure, in, in, absolutely. In, in this moment, and uh, continue to reach out to Ron, and particularly his uh, sister-in-law and his niece, and uh, and the cook and the kids uh, that they have uh, during this. Uh, trying situation but ron we're glad to have you uh backed in here well i'm I, sure i'm <laughs> always happy to be here um because i need you today there, you there's a lot going on uh, you know duck season is wide open this cold weather is going to bring them down it is uh, let's hope so uh, <laughs> he's <you> talking know, <laughs> ducks <laughs> i have seen uh some really really good hunts uh you know i've been told though that they have been tough but limits are being taken yep and that's good. Uh, the deer season is still going on, and yep. I'm 0 for 3 so far, but I'm still trying. <laughs> I'm, I just can't get them to sit still long enough. Just keep swinging the bat. I'm going to swing the bat. Uh, the, the, the bat needs to be swung, but uh, 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 in around the horn today, uh, we appreciate uh, not only Ron Wong and uh, Bill Cooksey here and uh, Greg Ratliff, but uh, all the other people that take care of us and our sponsors, of course, uh, we have a wonderful group of sponsors have really stuck by us as we roll into our 17th year. But I know Ron has got to be excited today because we're going to have Rick Clunner on the show. 
and uh, that's pretty strong. You that's know, that's he, he he is a legend in the fishing industry. Well, yeah, and, yeah. Uh, he was know. Kevin Van Dam before there was Kevin Van Dam. That's right, absolutely. And over seventy and still yep. going, you know, and still going, and that's right. And, you know, he is still fishing tournaments, and of course, I guess it was last year, year before last, he did win. Yeah, a major tournament, an elite tournament. Yes, uh, he did. When yeah. Nobody thought he could ever do it again. Yeah. But uh, he's going into. He, he recently was inducted into the International Game Fish Association Hall of Fame, uh, along with some other folks that we'll talk about. We're going to talk to Neil Horton. He's the new president of the International Game Fish Association. That's that big magazine that I get every year. Pops in there with all mm-hmm. the records and you, you know, fish you didn't even know were out there. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's uh, pretty amazing. Uh, but he's stepping in recently as a new president, and we're going to hook up with Neil and Rick at the same time. Uh, uh, you know, just getting Rick on, but getting the president of the uh, IGFA, IGFA. That's uh, that's pretty strong too. And then, of course, as I told him early, guys, uh, we're going to talk to Mike Hayes, not necessarily about what's fishing and thing. That resort opened on January the first, nineteen twenty-five. Wow, that's before me. You know, so that's, <laughs> that's before that's Larry. Before Wong. <laughs> yeah. BL. Before, yeah, before for Larry BL. Yeah. But uh, I want to talk to Mike a lot about the years. And uh, he's kind of reaching out to some different people besides just hunters and fishermen and eagle watchers. So I, I said, Mike, let's talk a little bit about the resort. And then, of course, I can't wait to get uh, Gary Remen uh, Snyder and uh, Alan Ranson on at the same time. Mm-hmm. And then Ron can be interpreted about the, <laughs> the new. Uh, uh, the the sale to the the big company that uh, kind of made some ch- ch- you know first we got Pratco bought, buying I can't remember something Pratco just bought something War Eagle well anyway they bought lures, uh, they some lure company bought War Eagle spinnerbait right that's it um, yeah so that came and in and then all of a sudden then then we hit up with uh, what's happened at uh, Strike King and Lose and of course those are great supporters of this and then we're gonna talk Buff of course Ron knows Buff. Yep, he uh, is a, Casey is uh, yeah. quite a gentleman. I've had the opportunity to talk with him several times in a, several events, ICAS, uh, yes. the Classic, yeah. Yeah. and yeah. stuff like that. So yeah, I like to talk buff because it's a it's not only a cool product, but it's uh, it'll save your skin. It will and save I, your skin. I had a couple of spots frozen off this week. Oh, and did you? And uh, I've been wearing you know a buff twenty years ago. Yeah, you yeah. know, and no, no, Bill, you bring up a good point. You know, a lot of people think, well, I'm starting to use sunscreen now, mm-hmm. and I'm starting to do this, starting. that, to, yeah. to protect myself. But it's those days yeah. before. Yeah, and most of us abused ourselves back then. We all did. Yeah. Well, Absolutely. They, well, I got, a, I got a, of course, I got a few a buffaroos here, you know, that uh, we're going to kind of look at here as, as we go along. Uh, Ron knows all these things. I got a different color for everybody. You have the dolphin. Uh, yes, I have the dolphin. All right, we got to get out of here after the first break. Then we're going to go to Arkabunda Lake and talk to Ernie Lentz about what's going on down there with the big annual physically challenged deer hunt on Outdoors with Larry Ray on ESPN 790. You can find. 